Big changes coming to health care now that the public health emergency declared in 2020 due to COVID is expiring on Thursday. Christine Lazar is on your side here to break it down. It's been confusing since the pandemic started, basically. Yes. You know, what is covered, what is not, what rules are expiring. We're going to break those all down. The one that was most interesting to me, I don't know about you guys, but I always like to keep COVID tests in the house. Yeah, just we do so too. If the kids get sick, I mm -hmm. can rule it out. Well, you used to be able to get those through your insurance eight a month, which I always went down to CVS and got those. Yeah. Well, that's expiring. And so, they're expensive. I know. Do you remember we had to pay for them in the beginning? I, you yes. know, sometimes up to 30 bucks a box. So my advice to you is in the next two days before Thursday, go, go down to your pharmacy yeah. and get those COVID tests. So from COVID testing to telehealth, consumers will see changes in what's covered and how much they pay for these services once that public health emergency expires in two days. COVID tests, vaccines, and even COVID treatments will no longer be automatically covered with no out-of-pocket costs. You'll have to check with your insurer to see what your coverage is and you'll likely have to stay in network for those services going to your doctor or an in-network pharmacy that's including like those PCR tests that we all kind of got on any street corner if we wanted to now for those home tests it used to be that your insurer was required to give you eight home tests per month for free and that's going away too there are also changes to Cobra health care coverage those kick in however on June 9th you now only have 60 days to choose if you want to take Cobra if you leave a job or lose your insurance pandemic era rules had extended that deadline to a year. Anytime you have a change like this in health policy, if, if people aren't, you know, haven't really been paying attention to the, the nuances of it, you can catch people by surprise. And, you know, people, a lot of people maybe weren't even aware that this was, that some of these changes and flexibilities were related to the public health emergency. It's definitely something that um, we need to get this message out in as many ways as possible. Another change is to telehealth. Starting on Thursday, telehealth options will be more limited. Coverage of audio only telehealth visits, well, they're going to end. Medicare will return to a more limited list of tele telehealth platforms. That's to better protect patient privacy. And providers will no longer be able to prescribe controlled medication via telehealth without at least one in person visit. And we're talking about medicines for things like ADHD, anxiety, and sleep disorders. Also, employer sponsored enrollment periods, they'll once again be limited to 30 days. Those limited windows were not allowed during the national emergency. So in other words, everybody needs to get on top of all this stuff, right? It used to kind of be loosey goosey and it's not going to be that way anymore. And it is interesting because we've done stories about ADHD. One mm -hmm. of the reasons they believe we've seen a shortage in ADHD medication is so many people were struggling during the pandemic and they got the prescription over telehealth. Well, that's not going to happen anymore. But if you have an existing prescription, you can keep then that. Then you can keep going. Yes. It, it, everyone kept thinking that this was going to change the way we did everything. And now it's like, oh, <laughs> over. Let's go back to the way it was. Well, it's the same thing with work, right? We yeah. all, I think uh, at some point we all thought, well, is everybody just going to work from home forever? And, you know, most people are back in the office. So we're definitely going back to the olden days. And I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> you are. And now you have to go directly to the doctor instead of telehealth and, you know, all those other things. Although, right. on the bright side, the pandemic is over. Yes. Right? And now we can go to restaurants and movie theaters and all those okay. other things. Uh, if but... I had time, that would be great. <laughs> Christine, thank you.